Hello there, everyone. Okay, so we're back with Cal, and I have changed my outfit a little bit. I did actually go for one of the um, premium outfits. I know I said I wasn't going to, but I thought, you know what? I wouldn't mind just changing it up a little bit, and we're a bit short on uh, what we've got right now. So, yeah, this is, I believe, the Rebel Hero uh, jacket, and I've given it a bit of a red look, and we've gone for the scrapper trousers, so just a little tweak. Now, I don't know exactly what we're meant to be doing because it is a few hours since I played, so I think we need to go this way. We need to go back into the cantina. I, I'm guessing we've got to interact with people, so um, let's go do that. Hey, we've got plenty to do. Listen, friend, what's your name? It's Cal. Moran. Charm. You seem a decent sort, Cal. Look, maybe you're just the latest fool to get tangled up with the Bedlam Raiders, or maybe you're the real deal. But this place will bleed you dry. Understand? Get out while you can. Noted. I mean, bleed you dry is an interesting um, phrase. Uh, Turgle, hello. You brought that droid in? Saved her too, huh? Just helped her get back on her feet. And he asked for nothing in return. Well, she did let me hang on to her tuner key. Ooh, <laughs> a tuner key? What? You found a real one? That's right. <laughs> Do you think I could maybe... You uh... can't borrow a Turgle. <laughs> Not after you're going to flog it to the Raiders anyway. Uh, well, hang on, what's that? Oh, I thought it was a, an opening, but no, nah, it's, it's not. I get a feeling we're going to have to go through there at some point. It does look like a crawl space, but they basically say, no, not now. Um, all right, uh, Z, how are you doing? Know anything about that forest array? My memory banks are coming up short, Cal, but it is surely the work of Master Kree. How do you know? In her time, she had no equal. There were other scientists and technicians, yes, but all that you see here on Kobo is her work. One way or another. That's quite a bold statement, it's got to be sad. I wish those raiders would just leave us alone. Every time they smash things up, I'm the one who's got to fix them. The outpost is lucky to have you. Sure. I just wish I could build something that couldn't be knocked down, that's all. Yeah, me too. I'm curious if this, uh, Cap Bane one is going to talk this time. Weird bucket of bolts you dragged in. Well, actually, hmm. she's a droid from the High Republic. Okay, run along now. <laughs> I can see why you sit alone. <laughs> I found that a little bit funny. Um, all right, so let's go over here. Bode, Grease. Good to see you landed on your feet, Cal. So how'd everything turn out? Bravo's gone. Had a feeling. I'm really sorry, Cal. I know how much he meant to you. He was a good friend. They all were. I'll miss him. Definitely not your standard crew. I could tell that from the start. Yeah. Gabs, Bravo, the twins. We were close. I understand. Just remember that you're not alone in all this. Glad you're here, bud. I got your back, brother. And greasy greasy. Thanks for looking no. after oh. Breeze while I chase down this lead. Twice the arms, twice the fun, right? More like twice the trouble. Ooh, can't wait. There we go. Try that again. How is Kobo? You get away from it all like you wanted? Oh, I had to, kid. Away from the Empire, the Haxian brood. Escape all the trouble. Trouble always seems to find us, Grease. Haven't you learned that by now? Ha! Huh, no kidding. Just like that old droid, huh? You think Z's trouble? Are you chaffing me? She sticks out like potpourri in a pod ring. <laughs> Not that I'm too picky. You meet any more lost souls with sob stories, send them over to Pylune, do you hear? Place could use a little trouble. All right, so honestly, I think that was just basically things go on here. It's, it's not like it's a big thing, it's just, Even yeah, things to happen. Even cantina couches with Patoli weave fabric. Classic grease. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Small detail, I guess. The light. The light. Oh, it's you. 
You're the new guy, right? Sorry, I missed that. She Say sounds that like she can't hear well. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Must be that ringing in my ears. The other day, this roller mine blew up, nearly took my head off. There's a building just off the path to Dredge Canyon. That's where the roller nearly got me. I bet they're guarding something useful, but I'm not going back there. Maybe we'll check it out. Be my guest and be careful. This ringing in my ears is driving me crazy. So yeah, they've definitely um, added a load of side quests into the game. Let's actually just bring up the map a minute, because... Let's have a look. Player location. Um, Dolma's Outpost Commodities and Palon Saloon. So let's just... Uh, let's go check the commodities out. Hi there. New shop available. That implies there's going to be more than this. Oh, hang on, hang on. What's this? Oh, workbench. Okay, we don't need a workbench right now. Uh, I think I'll browse a little. Oh, okay, so we can buy customization and all that you lot. Got a good eye. So, this key code will open the lock door and dome a shop, okay. Uh, we can get a headband, a hawk, a buzz cut. Uh, yeah, okay. Windswept. Extended moustache. Uh, a corsair. Okay, a corsair Luke. Frontier Luke. You buying or browsing? Give us a minute. Outrider. Oh, that's um, Dash Rendar style. Oh, I like it. Uh, we've got the bandolier. I do like that one as well. Uh, we've Ooh, got nice commander. One. We've got frontier. Uh, Outrider again. I am right, two out outriders, yeah. Oh, shirts, I see. So we're going to a different category now. So training shirt, frontier. Okay, and what are these? Music tracks. These music tracks can be played at Palo and Saloon, provided the jukes jukeboxes functioning. Okay, so I'm see, unfortunately not going to be buying are... any of these for the fact that uh, I, I, I suspect they're not going to be friendly on YouTube. Um, let me just have a look, though. I, I won't get the outrider. But I kind of like the bandolier as well. I can only afford one. I'm going to go for the bandolier right now. I think that's got a nice look to it. Um, let's just see if can I alter the style a little bit. I kind of like that one. I'll grab this one. I held that one just for you. Okay, so it's, it's all a little bit simple, but I do like it. Well... Take a look, you'll find the finest components in sundries this side of the outer rim. Now that's a Doma Dendra guarantee. Hear that, buddy? A guarantee. That's right. Shop built on trust and quality, and I aim to keep it that way. So yeah, I, I, I'm not seeing it as like a big thing like I thought it was going to be, but still, you know, it's a way of getting customization, so I'm not against it. Um... Yeah, so we don't go... Oh, we can go this way. All right. Okay, I am at this point now thinking, where are we going? Uh, there's a rumour up there. There's a rumour there. That's where our main objective is. What is that? Um, yeah, I am actually curious. What is the main objective? Oh, the forest gate. Okay. So, we really should head that way, but I'm kind of inclined to just check out that rumour. Because there's nothing this way, like, leading towards the uh, mantis that I need to check out. So, I might as well just explore this little area. And that doesn't look too bad, to be honest. Uh, what, what, which rumour is this? Find the missing prospectors. According to a car by local, several prospectors went to inspect a nearby cave and haven't been seen in some time. There has been speculation about what exactly lurks in the cave, so it would be worth checking that they're okay. Okay, so, um... I think we will go check that one. Can I mark it? There we go. 
I wish there was a way of like marking it so that I could see it visually. I mean, I can just try and point myself in the correct direction, but it would be nice if it was a bit easier. Um, so what's the best way of getting to it? I think it might be over here somewhere. Yeah, let's head that way. Give them credit, this is a big map. And, and I'm really reluctant to go on the side quest chain because then you can end up just getting stuck essentially. Not not progressing the story. Um, I've already had a few people saying, oh yeah, I'm already off this planet. And I'm like, I, I would like to get off this planet soon just so that I can progress the story. But uh, on the other hand, I'm like, I would like to explore a little bit. You know, to put effort into this uh, map, I'd like to pay it back. Okay, so this is where the rumour is, so let's go into the cave and let's see what's going on. Southern Reach. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I, I'm glad I caught old then. Alright, suitably dark and creepy. Found yourself lucky you can't smell. <laughs> Alright, that, that thing looks interesting. I'm assuming that's rats. A shard. Let's trade it at Doma's shop. I mean, I, I like the fact that we got some of them, but I suspect that isn't the only thing we're here for. Again, 10 out of 10 for the lighting. This is r really well lit as far as we've only got the lightsaber. going. Have we got more of this? No, it's crossing here, surely. Oh, wow. What the hell is this? What were they? I hear you, BD. Let's see. Bramlick. Not overly aggressive, but painful to touch. Dispatch safely from afar or avoid. Okay. Okay, that's just sparking for no reason. Um, right, nothing down there. I was wondering in case there was something. Yeah, I can't see anything there. It's the old chestnut if you don't want to miss something when you just try and move forward. Glad I heard that. I can hear something. I think it might be that, though. We've got two ways. I don't know which way is the best way. Yeah, they, they both look plausible. Sans Echo, at least. There's something oh, down here. Catch my breath. Gotta be a way out. Uh, somewhere. So it looks like while. they got lost. Maybe they're one of the missing prospectors. Alright, so door number one took us nowhere. Where does door number two take us? Okay. What the hell's that thing? I suppose we'll find out in a moment. It's 
creatures were killed by black that gold fire. this that's why that was camouflaging what the hell's that I'm guessing it's a prospector droid I mean, this feels like a trap that I'm chasing after it. Suitably spooky around here, it's got to be sad. It's half the reason I'm keeping quiet. <laughs> it just feels a little wrong to be talking constantly in this environment. It's like the game says you shouldn't talk. You need to hold your breath. Okay, we'll go up here. We've got one of them droids. Are they droids? No, they're just like fungi or something, aren't they? Right, that symbol's intriguing. Loading. Kind of used to it in this game, having little jump scares when you go out of like creepy crawlies. Okay, so we've got a little shortcut now. Um, let's go this way. Just what kind of creature lives down here? Oh dear. Massive rib cage. The exposed rib cage of an enormous creature. Markings on the bone structures indicate this was picked clean by some ravenous predator. Well, we've got a meditation point. <laughs> if ever there was a, an indicator that you're about to have a fight, this is it. It's as if the game's saying, right, get ready, get ready. You're gonna need it. Look at this rib cage. Think the Bedlam Raiders would pay for fossils? Oh no! Gotta be one of the missing prospectors, buddy. If ever an area screams boss fight or mini boss fight, or whatever you want to call this thing, this is it. About what you'd expect for a rancor, I guess. Right, we've got our health back. Ooh. I need a health button. Okay. I mean, this is a tough one. I'm, I'm thinking the strat here might be just don't let it touch you. Oh, wow. Should I be fighting this? <laughs> man, oh man. It's owning me. It says switch lightsaber stances. Right now, I think I could. I, I think I could try everything, and I'm. I'm not sure what I could do. I thought I, I might have had a little cheese there, just hiding behind a. Oh wow! Help me, BD. I 
can't get the life. I don't really like it being that far back because it's a hard place to get to it. Oh, okay, this is going to be a, a... I'm going to persist with this for a little bit because of anything, this could just make a video all on itself, but man oh man. feels rough. I, I get that maybe the game's saying you can't hide behind there, don't try, but equally it's like no way he was grabbing me through the rock as well. I don't know what I'm doing here. I am up from about it. Help me. doing it. Yeah. Okay, so just looking at change difficulty at any time. You, you know the game's patronizing you when it does that. Um, okay, so I'm thinking to myself, it, it's got some short range attacks, so maybe we can use the little gaps in between them. Alright, can I Got that. Yep. Mm. See, I don't want to hide behind the pillar. I think that's just asking for trouble. of Tomb Raider this. Uh, the new ones I should say. You know when uh, when you died with that some of the deaths for Lara were brutal. And I think they said right if you're facing a rancor you could get eaten when you when it kills you. Oh straight out of the game. If it hasn't already, this is probably a compilation part by now. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite happy for that pillar to go down. I know that's how the game works, but that is frustrating because it's you're dodging in anticipation and the game, well, the Rancor knows you're going, going to dodge. Again, I know that's how it works, but it's frustrating when it happens. It's like it's like it's a inbuilt system to prevent dodge spamming. Oh no. Fighting a rank or it should be exciting. 
<laughs> this is um, filling me with dread because once I've set. so many times she can be killed by it and think, you know what, I'm happy to be facing this rancor. <laughs> yeah, I can't really comment much here. Ooh, we're in a new phase. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, no. I thought we were in a new phase. Okay, well, I'm going to make a little change. I, I never actually checked the perks out. Let me have a look at what they are. My block meter's increased. That could be helpful, but I don't think it's going to be, you know, wow. Let me have a look at stances. I'm going to change that to single. And I'm going to change that to dual wield. Because I think... I think right now we do need the dual wield, but it might just turn out that single's better than double. You know, in terms of this one particular scenario. Um, we don't want to use fast travel, so... We have got a skill point, though. Is there anything I can do there that might just help us out? We've got five skills for the lightsaber, so let's have a look at them. I'm looking at dual wield. What have we got here? Um, hold L1 and then press square to attack and leap backwards, creating distance from the target. Let's view it. Alright, that's kind of nice, especially with this rankle. And what's next? Delay uh, square input to perform a flurry of quick targeted swings or. Perform a spinning strike on releasing triangle. Okay. Still though, considering I'm having to block a bit here, that could prove useful. shouldn't have done that. Mm. Alright, I'll take that. Help, please! <laughs> yeah, Rankle Stomp. Ooh, okay, not good, not good. Get that back. of the way. Oh, no, 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 no. Why? It, it does every time I go near that column. I swear it knows that people are going to hide behind there, so it does it. <laughs> It. Knock that thing down for me. Cheers. Oh no, don't do that. 
you say a thank you? And that's the thanks I get. Right, I'm glad I missed the heal there. The main thing is like a free heal, isn't it? Okay, let's just dodge out of the way of that. Oh, come on! This entire area, I've been, I was thinking throughout, you know what? There's only a few little creatures here. We haven't had any, like, raiders or nothing too big. And you think this is why? Shouldn't have stemmed that. Oh, I was too late then. close really fast then. Audio effects Taz and Grease his place. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Oh, hang on, hang on. Hey. Here's about this. Right on his doorstep. Thank God for that. I also thought I was going to be here for hours. I, I managed to get the pattern down at least. Okay, well, uh, let's get this doicky. What is it? Skill points? Shatter. Okay. Uh, 
and we might as well see what it is. Perks. Uh, here we go, Shatter. Attacks are more effective at breaking enemies' guards. Ooh, I like it. It says three out of three slots in use, so we're probably going to have to drop something um, at some point. But for now, I say we're we're equipping what we've All got. Set, Let's make a way out of here then. But yeah, I, I, you could tell that was a boss, but I didn't. I did. There was a rancor in the game. I, you know, it's hard not to hear stuff like that. People just get really excited and I'm like rancor, rancor. But um, yeah, I didn't think this was where it was. So um, I thought it was going to be like on the main mission. So to see it here, I was like, oh, okay. But yeah, that was a surprise. Is that meditation point down there? It looks it. I do find it amusing though that you can just meditate in the middle of the village. <laughs> Alright, we'll save here. So, with that in mind, that is the end of this part because honestly this was a lot longer than I thought a part just going to do a side quest would be. So uh, thank you very much for watching folks. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and I will be back soon where we go to do this forest quest. So hopefully I'll see you then. Bye bye for now.